Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kara Joseph. I am the Training Programs Manager at Creative Manitoba, and welcome to our Creative Accessibility Artist Talk Series in partnership with Arts Accessibility Network Manitoba. So Arts Accessibility Network Manitoba is a regional non-for-profit arts organization dedicated to full inclusion of artists and audiences with disabilities into all facets of the arts community. Their mandate is to support artists with disabilities in achieving individual artistic excellence, promote higher visibility of these artists within all disciplines, and promote policies and practices intended to make the arts more accessible to all Manitobans. It might be a little noisy where I'm at, so I'll try and keep the talk moving. Um, Creative Manitoba is, sorry, just give me one moment as there's a little group traveling in front of me. So, sorry about this. So Creative Manitoba strengthens, represents, and connects Manitoba's artists and creative industries. Our entrepreneurship training and mentorship opportunities teach artists how to sustain themselves creatively and financially. Creative Manitoba is also located on Treaty 1 territory, the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the homeland of the Red River Métis. We acknowledge and pay respect to the ancestors and treaties made on these lands by considering all our cultures, traditions, and the histories of colonialism, dispossession, and resistance as we create and learn together. We would also like to acknowledge that our water is sourced from Shoal Lake 40 First Nation. So I'm very excited to uh, invite Millie here today to talk about her paper making and her arts practice. So welcome Millie, welcome Rose, and take it away. Okay. So I guess once um, the slide is up, um, Millie will do her script and I'll do my part. And I'm gonna shut my video off because otherwise you'll see my back a lot. Oops, sorry. Okay. Can everyone see the screen? Yes. Alrighty. So the paper for Freldy, a paper making story by Millie Flake Cooper and her mom. I should have added that part. Okay. Do you want to start, Millie? And I'll put what Millie reads in the script or in the chat, sorry. Oh, my, my, this, I, this, I, three, four, three, thank you for, Bing. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Can people hear that thunder? Today. Mm -hmm. Today. My down. Center. Make sure. Yes. Sense. Be hard. Do. And do it. And do it. Understand. Understand. We. At and I don't as much as as well. My mom um, 
It's not all. You forgot my name. With the ducking with my okay. So, okay, keep going. So, this is the story of Melly's art that began early. Her creativity was always there. Music was my only that's when I listen. Listen. Uh thoughts. It's Different. 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 This means we do no piano. And this no instrument. Events. It was by now moves. And the door. Yeah. I. And then. So the image that you're looking at is. Um, when Millie was in school and that birdhouse still hangs in her yard. And that piece of uh, art called the path that she did in high school, she recreated in paper three times as a commission. And actually it was four times because someone else saw it and then said, could you do one for us? Wow. Can people hear the thunder? It's so loud. Okay, next screen. Hi. I should have like time to the five. Yes, two and seven. Okay. And so 2005, that's a picture for graduation. And of course, that is work experience at the Icelandic um, new Icelandic Heritage Museum. Because of Melly's disability, she was able to stay in school until she was 21. She did have two years of work experience in Gimli at a museum and a family daycare after 2005. Next screen. So paper making began in 2007 where we found a children's paper making kit. And that kit, we still have it. We still have the instruction booklet. And we still have samples of the paper that we made early. Okay, next screen. So we started, and oh, you want to read that one, Melly? It's started in my, no, in my mom's kitchen. We talk never most of that house. Yes, and you can see that there is paper lying flat to dry 
And then there is paper hanging between the, the posts that I had in my great room and hanging just like laundry. I just come home from work and see that and think, oh. Um, and that blender Millie is using there, she, um, it was a new blender but they put things like denim into it. And after that, I said, only use blenders, please, because they don't last that long if you put denim in. We also stopped putting material in there. Next. So we made lots of paper. Millie and her staff made lots of paper by 2008. Um, we had made enough larger sheets of paper to make cards and we tested sales at the Wyethwold Emporium. And Millie is nervous and she has decided to go to the washroom. Please excuse her, she has autism and Down syndrome and so sometimes that's not easy uh, to handle the pressures of doing something different. Uh, let's go to the next screen while she's uh, So the next year, she worked in a smaller space. She's back now. So we purchased a small outdoor studio for her to make paper in. It enabled her to make paper for at least three seasons. And most of the reason was, do you want to read this one, Millie? What did her house back? Yes, I wanted my house back. Next screen. Um, so this was, if you click the, um, the arrow button, you'll get that this was um, Millie's first solo wave studio tour. And there were others that followed. The one on the left is uh, from online. And it headlined something about uh, Gordie Howe's elbow. That was a joke in the inner circle because when you want to do something and we want to direct you differently, you have an elbow that gets in the way and says, nope, I'm doing it my way. So there was lots of um, stories that sort of came out of that first one. Okay, next screen. Okay. All right, you read that one. Uh, have. When. Me. Stories. Stories. Written. Written. About. Me. And news, 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 and news, and is it a Is it is that? Okay, next slide. So this was um, the Winnipeg Free Press article that was written in 2020. It just so happened that someone who worked in the Free Press Classified suggested to the journalist that he do a story about Millie. And uh, it was during COVID and we were all masks, at least you know, the others were, but uh, it was a lovely story and um, gave her a little bit of coverage that we weren't expecting. So the other, I can't really read it. 
because it's so small, but it, it was a very important story. Next screen or slide. And that's more of the story. Uh, our favorite picture is the one where she's walking down the hall on that one. There's just a determination that we loved. And we also like the fact that we call, they called it proud paper. Okay, next slide. So what you're seeing here are some images and a collage of all of the different venues that Millie has been at over the years, outdoors, indoors, for the wave, uh, for some other organizations, the Down Syndrome Society, they used to do a educational one called See Me Beautiful, and they invited Millie there, and the Autism Society, and a few others that after 14 years I've lost track of, but there has been a lot. Next screen, next slide. I keep calling it a screen. Okay. So what you're seeing here is over the years of uh, the wave tour mostly, um, you will see there's a cat around. You might get lucky to see Earl, that's Earl Gray. He is our unofficial greeter. And the other thing that we started doing about five years ago was making stepping stones out of paper. We made one for Canada Day for the 150th. Uh, we, for the past two years, have done red and orange combinations for missing and murdered women and children and the residential schools. We were going to do one for the war in Ukraine today, this year, but we don't have a lot of yellow. So, and not a lot of blue, it's very precious, those two colors. Uh, but it gets very busy. And I can say that the Wave Studio Tour is the same as, or like if you took every holiday that you got together with your family over the year and put it into one day or weekend, it would be the Wave Studio Tour. It's a lot of work, but it's really, really good. Okay, next slide. Oh, so this was Millie's first solo art show that was hosted by Pulford Community Living Services. And they did something the previous year for someone with a disability, Melanie, whose work is great. She does glass work. And they wanted to do another person, another artist, and they chose Millie and they wanted to do a third and then have a combination of all three together. But you know, COVID got in the way. Um, but it was a good show and it was in the city and it was nice that they just opened up their, their offices and did this. Um, and I think after this, there's a video that they also produced to sort of predate the show. And it tells a little bit about Millie's paper making and having a disability. She was always creative. She did art in school, of course, and in high school, she really enjoyed art. And she did, she worked with fabric and acrylics and um, uh, watercolors, I think. I just wanted her to find something that gave her joy and gave her purpose. And really, that's what we all search for is, you know, what what's the what's a good reason to get up today um and what i discovered being part of the art community out here is artists appreciate art they appreciate what you can do with your art and it isn't about who you are or 
what you can or can't do in other areas because we've all got strengths as you know um, the, so the artists themselves have been very accepting and inclusive which makes it um, also very special for, for me personally because I they it's not that they don't see Millie's disability but they see her giftedness they see her art and they you know they appreciate it we've always been pretty close we've been our own teachers like I teach her things she teaches me things um, what I have recognize though is do you know that the art has brought us closer it's brought us into an understanding of that we're both adults now and yes Melly's um, mental capacity if you if people ask me well what does she function at I don't know it depends on what she's doing because she can function at a 33 year old or a three year old just like I can you know like that's no different uh, we have our skill sets and we work with them uh, but I come to appreciate Millie, the artist, the adult, who happens to have a disability. And I think that's that's the best relationship. I, I, I'm not sure I have that with my mother, you know, and, and I, I think I'm, I'm really glad that we don't always agree, and yes, we have conflicts sometimes, and things aren't going more like I think they ought to. Um, but then it's not my home, it's not my art, it's not my life, so I have to step back and say, okay, who are you as an adult, how do I treat you that way, and how do I facilitate and support you? So, it's brought us closer, but in a very different kind of way. Hi. Hi. What? Scrub. Scrub. And when finish. Okay, so Millie, wanna read that? Of course. Yes. It's as it goes. So on the left is the Canadian Down Syndrome Award that Millie got. That was Jane Cameron Award uh, for people with Down Syndrome and who are residents of Canada. And that award also came with $500 and helped her start her very first website. Millie's entered many other award uh, jury um, shows. The Interlake Juried Art Show is the one that she's been in several times. And they, I think have resulted in about four third and honorable mention spots. We didn't enter this past year, but one of these days we're gonna see if we can get to second and first, right, Millie? Yeah. Okay, next slide. Evelyn, paper, make, gas, Things you need 
Uh, uh, work. Now you're our teacher. Teacher. Okay, that's good. Okay, so on the far left of this, these images are um, is this, Millie did her very first paper making class uh, workshop, I should say, in the kindergarten at the Winnipeg Beach School, which is also the school she attended. And it happened to be the teacher who was in her circle of friends in high school. So that was an interesting circle of life. The, the teacher that's in the photo um, is somebody who was her grade six teacher at Winnipeg Beach School. And she went and to East Selkirk to do a workshop for their, for his class. And on the far right, on the bottom, is Millie and her, uh, one of her, lo the longest employed staff that she has getting ready for a grade three group. I think there were three gr grade three classes that uh, did a workshop in Winnipeg, one of the schools. Okay, next slide. So, these are some of the organizations that Millie has been connected to. The Canadian Down Syndrome Society, the Manitoba Down Syndrome Society, the Autism Society, Innovative Life Options, and that's the organization that oversees the provincial self-administered funding called In the Company of Friends. And Millie's had that since 2010. And that enables her to hire her own staff and fire them if they're not good. But her staff have been with her for more than 10 years. So they're really good. Uh, the Canadians Association for Supported Employment, CASE, their conference was in Winnipeg recently. And they offered free tables to people with disabilities who had a business and wanted to show, showcase their work. And it was absolutely fabulous for them to do that. People First of Canada, too. Um, Millie is part of the Selkirk Group, Inclusion Canada, and of course, Community Futures. And Ready, Willing, and Able were um, one of the first stories when Ready, Willing, and Able came out was one of Millie's. So how people find her, she's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, the Wave app and website, and of course, her own website which needs updating. Next slide, please. Okay. Now the other ones I didn't mention in the other previous slide, I just realized this, um, is Creative Manitoba and Arts Accessibility Network, which has been a, thank you for doing this. And she's also a member of the International Association of Paper Makers and Paper Artists. A mouthful, but a great connection. Okay, so this is the paper making process. Um, the images show that uh, Millie sorts it by color and then shreds it if she needs to, and then stores it by color. This is an old picture of storage. There's yellow around there and back then. We don't have any now. Um, next slide. Okay, so, okay, you wanna read that, Millie? I mix. Yes, no. Mix. Uh, three. Swing before swing up up I make back background and next. 
Evet. 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 So the image here is of the blending and all the blenders. We go through blenders on a regular basis. They burn out. Uh, but some of them, the Osterizer models have been the most consistent and the, the longest living, if I can call them that. <laughs> Next slide. So this is what Millie mentioned when she said she puts, she mixes it. Obviously I put it to the wrong slide, but that's the way that goes. Um, when she mixes it in the vat and then it's very important when she, she does a swish and she can create kinds of interesting inter images when she does that swish, if she adds the, the accent slurry on top of the water and screen. Um, but she also adds it like ketchup or pours it in in some way. So you can see all of that. Next slide. Okay, so. Oh no, not yet. Um, so the images that you're seeing here are the couching on the top left. And then there's what we call the flicking. You have to flick the screen to get the paper loose. Uh, and there's texture added. There is a, a whole two containers full of all kinds of doilies and plastic stuff and burlap and placemats and laces that we, that Millie uses. I use the Royal We all the time, that Millie uses to get texture. You also see her lifting it off of the screen. And then there's a pile of, of paper that's been done. On the very top right, you'll see a picture of the actual wet studio room and the three different stages. There's the bat person, which is Millie, the um, coucher, which is getting the water out. And then there's the stacker or the postman, post woman in our cases, where you stack it and drain and press it to release all the water. Okay, next slide. So this is just different images of Millie's work once the paper is done. So on the top left is a collage of different paper. And you can see all those little dots are like caused from the ketchup effect. Just like you would take ketchup out, that's how she hits it. Um, she makes a lot of cards. That's how we started, right Millie? Yes. And her art uh, has changed over the years. Millie is the puzzler. There's always a puzzle on the go. And about two or three years ago, she started incorporating the puzzles with the paper. And Millie's also a knitter. So that got incorporated. So you will see there's that great waterfall that's done with fiber. In the bottom where there's a bridge that's done with a puzzle. And then there's examples of two pieces where it's just paper. But Millie also makes um, little things like magnets and ornaments and bookmarks, right? Yes, okay, next slide. Okay, so this is her, this is one of her doing um, the stepping stones.
Okay, so what made it all possible? Now you didn't rehearse this, Melly. So is it okay if I read it, or do you pop it down? Okay. So we would say, find a cheerleader who sees your abilities. In Millie's case, it was found one more, more. Yeah, and it was okay. All right. Um, we encouraged everybody to work with her abilities and not focus so much on her inabilities, the stuff that she couldn't do. Yes, there's always things that we can improve on, but we found it was important that you do what you found made you, made you put you in a good space. Okay. Do you want to do number two? Do something. Yeah, that's right. Something that you are passionate about. So rule number one, or number two was not a rule, a guiding principle. Um, like I mentioned in the video, I wanted her to have a reason to be happy to wake up and a, and a purpose and a sense of belonging. And she absolutely, am I right? You love to make paper. Are you gonna give me a yes? yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, number three. Found. Find. Yeah. yeah. Tribe. Drive. Okay, so find your tribe. It was um, the, the artist in the Wave Art at the Studio Tour are the tribe that Millie is most connected to. She's connected to a lot of others, but with the paper making and the art, that's her main tribe. They give her the best feedback and it's always been so very positive and affirming. I love all of the people that are in there. Okay. Yes. Uh, who's this? Available. Available. So using the resources available, all those organizations I listed, all of the connections that we've had, every opportunity that showed up, we tried to say yes to just for the exposure. Now that we have the exposure, yeah, we say no a little bit more often. Um, but I think it's important to use resources that are available, whether they're free or they cost you something, uh, find a way to utilize them. There's so much out there available, either online or in person. Do okay. art your way. So do art your way. The reason I say that particularly, and that you say it, is because the one, I'm just going to mention this is my favorite story, or one of many, where um, that piece that she got the award on, the Jane Cameron Award, that same piece was adjudicated when we had Wave at, uh, wave at the Wag. And the adjudicator made some comments about these three snowflakes that were in the center of the piece, right? And we all thought, for creative collaborators, thought that too. I thought that's a strange place to put these, but fine, it's your art. Um, but it was one of the pieces that sold. The Wave has had four shows at the WAG and Millie is the only artist who sold all four. So don't listen to the adjudicators. Because I guess it's our point to art your way. Um, and since we have some time, I've joined on another uh, laptop, an older one, which only has the camera facing away. I can't get it to look at me, but I thought it would be a great uh, opportunity to um, walk around and show you Millie's walls uh, because we've just got down the way. So everything is still up. And um, it means I have to unplug myself and parts of the other laptop 
and plug in here. And I'm going to, thanks for bearing with me, joining with video. Do you want to join me, Melly? And this is such an old laptop that it takes a lot longer to connect. I will stop the share right now so that I can uh, show your screen when it's all ready. Okay, great. So while we're waiting, hi, so I, I'm Janelle Shaw from AANM. I just wanted to say quickly, Rose and Millie, thank you so much for sharing your story. I know you guys were a little stressful about public speaking and all that, but you know, it's really important uh, for us to be able to hear everyone's stories, how they connect with the art. And uh, I just love how you bring political stuff into your art as well. So thank you so much for sharing. It might be best to mute Millie's computer if you're walking around with that one, Rose, just so okay. that we don't have that echo. And then unmute the one that you're on. So maybe we may have a sound issue. I'm not sure. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So this probably isn't that clear. This is um, Panoramic Lake. Don't mess with mother nature. Sorry, there's lots of shine on here. The connection, the lake connection. End of summer and first snowfall. And this autumn reflections, chilling at the lake, and just a cute pot of flowers. Free falling. What is this? Oh, another starry night. This one was done recently. It's called Stay Strong, obviously about the Ukrainian war. Cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. 
windswept. Now this one, hmm, let's see if I can get a better angle. It was the first one that has puzzle and fiber. Let's see if I can step back. It's singing in the rain. I love that one. Here's a couple of smaller ones still on the wall. This is the dry studio room. And right now it's called the bird sanctuary because every piece on the wall is a birdhouse of some sort or birds involved. Birds everywhere. And on the wall there, you can see all of Millie's uh, wards. Well, most of them. And you can also see she just finished this easy puzzle that was only 500 pieces. It's about snow men on it. Yeah, go figure. Okay, so we're entering the wet room. And uh, there's Earl. This is his usual spot, but when she makes paper, it all gets cleared. And the three stages you're seeing, so there is the, the coucher, and these are all of the textures. And there's more samples of textures. And that is the stacking thing, um, table. And then there, there's these big clamps that get put on. And this that I'm showing you is the baker's rack where it all dries. Now, if Millie would have followed me, I would have asked her to move things down. But she didn't. And so that's what paper looks like when it's all done and dry. And, oh, this is our bin of bits. And it's just, oh, I can't, yes. It's all leftover paper that we use in the small art pieces or the die cuts and then offer it to visitors during the wave tour. And that is the tour of Millie's one well, and, oh, and now, okay, I'm gonna leave this. Okay. I think my no my sound is gone, isn't it? I can hear you. Oh, can you? Okay. Okay, that was pretty much it. You got everything that you needed to know about Millie and paper making, right? What do you think? Was it good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there any questions? Yeah, I have one. I'm just wondering what it was like for Millie, how it felt, <clears throat> excuse me, to have a first solo show. Because that's, I know that's so exciting for artists to have their first one. Um, yeah. Well, I think you took it in stride. Um, it was, it was, you know, it was a bit like having, a, doing the wave tour in that everybody was paying attention to Millie's art. And honestly, I think you like that. You like the feedback, right? She likes to hear that her stuff's good and that people like it because of why, why do any art if nobody likes it? Well, wait a minute, let me retract that. <laughs> art is an expression. And we often say, because Millie doesn't use the spoken word as the main communication style, um, the, the, the line we use, see what I say. Because the art is the main part of her expression. And um, 
I think you know pretty well that it's about you when it's a show, right? It's about your art. It's about the money you make from your art. It's about you. Yes. Millie's very confident. That's great. And and where can we purchase some of Millie's uh, pieces? Um, does she have a website or how do we she does. do that? Yeah, she does. If you go to um, two things, actually, the, the Wave is going to have an e-store very soon. Um, and on there, you'll be able to purchase some of Millie's cards. Uh, well, maybe not cards. That's a hard one to make happen lately. Uh, but there's prints. Millie has recently uh, done some prints of some of her work. Um, but she does have a website. If you go to the paperforfrildy.com, you will find it. Or if you go on the watchthewave.ca, you will find her information there too. And yes, you can purchase art online. Much of her, I did mention that her website needs updating. Um, one of the things that we want to update is how people can access cards. If you want cards, then we have to provide a link because every card is different. Every single card is different. Right. And uh, we have hundreds of cards. That's awesome. And then one last little question and then I'll be done. Um, if we have extra colored paper, can we send it to Millie to use in her art practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, tissue paper, previously used um, office paper, and construction paper. All of those work really well. Oh, that's good to know because I'm always throwing out my tissue paper. So now I'm going to save it and send yes. it your way. Yes. Tissue paper is provides the most brilliant color. Right. We love it. Great. Well... I guess we're getting to the end of our time. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, taking the time and, and sharing your story because it's just really wonderful to hear. And, and Millie is so um, accomplished. I just can't, uh, you know, the intricacies of the, of the paperwork that she does, the, the layering is just so complex and beautiful. It's improved a lot. Uh, not imp okay, wrong word. It's grown. It's expanded. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, people that came in the very beginning, there was, I remember one woman saying she was a bit disappointed that it had become a bit more, um, I don't even remember what the word was that she used, um, but she liked the original stuff because of its simplicity. And I thought, oh, well, we can't stay stuck. We have to keep moving, right? Um, but thank you, that, that's great to hear. We love her work. There is never a time that, you, that when you make paper, Millie, that I don't come along and say it's beautiful, right? I always tell you it's beautiful, and it always is. So thank you so much for having us. It was lovely. Really appreciated it.